All right, Coach Paul here, Team Sovereignty Lab. A uh, little snatch warm up or even a drill that you can do um, with a bar, PVC pipe, whatever. Um, I like to use this a lot just to kind of wake up every area of the snatch before I snatch. Um, so what I'm going to do here first, it goes power snatch, snatch balance, behind the neck push jerk, stand it up, leave your feet where they're at, overhead squat, then lower it down right to the high hang position and do a high hang full snatch, okay? So first one is the power snatch and I'm gonna do these in a complex and stay connected to the bar. So I'm here, power snatch, then I lower it down and now I adjust my feet back to do a snatch balance. I stand it up, lower it back down again. Now I go behind the neck, push jerk, Stand it up. I don't move my feet now. I want them to be in that landing stance. Overhead squat. Right here, go back. High hang snatch. And try to land properly, okay? So, the first one, your power snatch. A power snatch is gonna require a really aggressive and strong finish. That finish position that we all want, where we try to get here, boom. That's your finish. When you, when you freeze frame an Olympic lifter, and you put them like 13 frames in their snatch, that position is what they're trying to get before they come down. All right, so that power snatch is really helping that strength pull into the finish. With that snatch balance on the next one, that's helping you jump and land and transition into the bar, because what you're doing is you're jumping the bar off and driving your body down so you're getting that speed under the bar. Then the next one, with that push jerk, makes you be aggressive in your lockout, and then standing it up, keeping your feet where they are, establishes perfect footwork, okay? Then from there, doing that overhead squat, just building that strength in that overhead squat, riding it down the whole way. Then when you lower it down, finally, you're a little bit tired at this point, that means you have to be really fast and aggressive getting under the bar. Okay, so I'm going to do this complex one more time. And it goes power snatch, snatch balance, push jerk, overhead squat, uh, high hang snatch. So I'm here. I would say when you're warming up, do a couple of those. It gets every position firing up, and then finally when you got to go hit your heavy snatches, you've got all the positions, all the things you may address. You know, when you're doing full snatches, sometimes you struggle to get under the bar. That's where snatch balance comes in. Sometimes you're not getting fast turnover. That's where the high hang snatch comes in. Sometimes you're not punching up on the bar and getting enough aggression, that's where that push jerk comes in. And sometimes you may receive it high and have to ride it down. That's where that overhead squat comes in. And that power snatch, that's that strong, strong, fast speed through the middle. Do all those, practice them with bar, PVC pipe, crap, metal rake, I don't care. Use whatever you can. And if you perfect those positions, you'll find yourself being far more successful snatching and your PRs will go up because of what you're practicing, not, oh, every time I just want to go heavy, heavy, heavy. You got to perfect these positions. So, give it a try. Boom.